Command and Conquer is kind of a new genre. Uh, it's a survival RTS game. It's not a traditional real-time strategy game. You have a lot of spinning plates. There is a lot to worry about. It's not just build an army, build a base, go and attack the other guy. You're defending up against waves of enemy attackers, and the waves get progressively more difficult. You know, you're Conan, you're in front of the Citadel that you're supposed to defend. They get more challenging, they get more deadly. There's this clock that's ticking, and the drum beats are going in the background. They're getting gradually louder. You know something nasty is going to happen. Playing by yourself or with a friend, you're going to try and survive through so many waves to see how long you can remain unconquered. At Petroglyph, we've kind of continued along with our strategy game DNA and RTS kind of game DNA. I mean, pretty much anything fantasy and sci-fi is going to get people around here interested, but Conan's one of the top ones up there. And being able to make the first you know, strategy-based Conan game, um, that was huge to us. With Conan and Conquered, you're not really fighting against a base. You're fighting against the elements and overwhelming odds. So. Depending on how you set up the game and the customization, uh, you'll be pitted against you know, a finite number of waves or even an infinite amount of waves. We've built in a lot more simulation than we ever have in any other game. You're managing a lot more resources, so there's a lot of different choices to make on which resources you actually want to go out and, and gather and harvest to determine like, what type of things you want to build. The worlds are randomly generated as well, so it's not the same map that you play every time, it's a new experience every time. You really have to layer in a lot of the strategy and challenge elements. Um, with Conan and Conquered, that's kind of what we're trying to do with the multiple enemy types that have different behaviors you have to deal with, with environmental effects such as disease and sandstorms and fire. All of those things are the challenges the strategy comes in, you know, what buildings you build, how you spend your resources, what units you're using to combat the challenges. The other nice thing about Conan and Conquered is that you can not only play solo play, um, you can play cooperatively as well with a friend or a stranger. You can match make and find a stranger to play with. The two players can play together and play against uh, even worse waves than the solo version. Uh, they are much more powerful. They'll come from multiple directions at once very early. Um, so. It'll take all both of you working together to survive. One of the most exciting things that players are going to experience is the multiplayer aspect of Conan Unconquered. We thought that was a great opportunity to give fans kind of a different way to play a survival RTS game. It's just fun to kind of share the challenge. It is so much fun to share that victory, you know, with somebody. And it's also nice too because one person can manage one thing while somebody else manages something else. I think that the main impetus for making this game. Um, was our love for other experiments that are going on in the RTS genre right now. I am a big fan of Frostpunk. We all fell in love with their billions. I want to, we want to make a game that has some, some of the elements that, that this has because it's really fun to, you know, like build and survive. These are great games and they're great examples of, of a, a survival strategic game that, that uh, we thought, man, that's, that's really good. What else could we do with that? taking their billions meets Stronghold and, and then putting it in that Black Colossus storyline from Robert Howard, you know, that's well known from, you know, the old Conan comic books and books. Yeah, it's very savage and brutal, just like I think Conan would like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Conan, what is best in life? To see your enemies driven before you and to play this strategy game. That's right.